watching and I am in YouTube and today we're going to make a noodle soup with Angus meatballs that I made right here and these are the ingredients I have parsley onion garlic bouillon cubes meatballs the salt and pepper to taste and I have a Japanese style ramen noodles right here that we're going to use and uh, the meatballs that I have right here is a mixture of um, hamburger garlic pepper and um, a little pinch of salt and that should be it and pretty much this is a very simple hearty recipe that you can make especially during the winter time or during the rainy days and you want the comfort food this is perfect for you guys so we're going to start now okay thank you there you go guys so i'm going to fry the meatballs now i was just gonna use this pot and after that you know i can use the grease from the hamburger to have more flavors okay so i'm gonna use the one just fry them and i want them to just make brown color on the outside you know we does it we doesn't need to overcook them okay so just like that so we'll just fry them And also, you know, we can use also the grease from the hamburger to add more flavors for the soup. Okay. Just like that. So we'll just fry them for about a minute or two. So guys, the meatballs is looks very good and the brown crust right there, that's what we're looking for. And if you see the grease right here it's it is adding up to the little oil that I put in earlier so we're going to use that to saute our onion garlic and parsley and um, this is really perfect it just smells pretty good okay so we're going to saute the onion now there you go and if you notice I used the grease that I got from the hamburger and the garlic just like that oh this just smells pretty good okay so we will just mix it up oh this is just a beautiful mixture of soup that we are going to make okay so we will just saute the onion and the garlic for like 30 seconds to a minute just like that there you go guys uh, this is looks perfect so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put half of the parsley right there just perfect okay And you know, I would like to put the pepper with the onion and garlic so it would give more flavors when you are sauteing them, okay? So that's perfect, that's brown. So what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to put a couple of cups first of water. Okay, that's gonna be two cups of water, just like that. Okay, pour that in. And um, I may add one more cup, okay? But if you want more soup, hey, go ahead guys and just add some more water. Okay, so that's gonna be three, three cups of water, just like that. <laughs> 
Okay, so what I have right here, guys, I have three cups of water. I have parsley, onion, and the garlic. So we're going to boil this beautiful, amazing broth that I have. So what we're gonna do is we'll just put the lid on and simmer them for like three to four minutes, okay? go guys so while our um, water is already boiling up pretty good so I'm gonna put in the meatballs that I brown a little bit just like that oh this just smells amazing guys Ooh, this is perfect for rainy days winter time anytime I'd say you know this is beautiful perfect combination just like that Okay, I'll just let them simmer for like a couple of minutes, okay? And while we are doing that, well, I'm gonna put in my bouillon right here. Okay, gonna put in my bouillon so it would melt just like that. Oh, this is just a perfect combination. Oh my goodness, this is just good. I'm just so excited to try this noodles with meatballs, guys. Okay, we will just let them boil for a minute or two. guys after five seven minutes the broth is pretty good i already have the meatballs onion garlic half of uh, my parsley so what i'm going to do now is put my japanese style ramen noodles right here and you know what um these noodles is cooked very fast so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna turn off my stove just like that because i don't want them to get the noodles overcooked so i'm gonna turn it off okay and then i'm gonna put my noodles in okay there you go guys so i'm going to add these noodles just like that when you are making noodles don't overcook them because it doesn't taste good okay just like that so we will just set them for a minute or two and it should be good and this is ready for plating <music> 